We are now going to do something fundamentally different with our mass on a spring. That is that we are going to drive it. Okay, so let's draw our good old mass on a spring. Here it is. Spring, mass, and it's even damped. We're going to keep the damping. All right, so that's B in there. And we know we like to combine these where we have that omega naught, the natural frequency, is the square root of k over m. Not necessarily the frequency it's going to move at. The damped oscillator moves slightly slower. That's just a parameter that we use to describe the system. And we have beta, which is b over 2m. We like to describe them that way. Now, if we're going to drive it, that means we are going to push it up and down. There's going to be another force, f naught, some amplitude, cosine omega t, okay? So this omega is just a property of the system. It's a combination of k and m. This omega is also a property of the system. It's the drive frequency. We're telling it to you ahead of time. We're not looking for this omega. We're telling you what it is. We're pushing this thing at omega. And that's what we distinguish omega with a naught means a natural frequency. So we have two frequencies we're dealing with already, okay? So when we push this thing at omega, what does it do? Does it oscillate at omega? Does it oscillate at omega naught? Does it fly apart? Does it explode? Let's figure out what it does. So some of the forces equals ma, good old Newton's law. We're going to keep doing this in just one dimension because we're not crazy. So zero. Okay, so one dimension. So some of the forces in the x. Minus kx, Hooke's law. Uh, damping force minus b, x dot. And now we simply add in f naught. Cosine omega t, because that's what it is, equals m x double dot. All right, we can start writing it in our more uh, beautiful form where we get x double dot by itself, and it becomes, let's see, x double dot, and then uh, with x dot uh, plus beta, um, beta x dot uh, plus omega naught squared x double dot or x, right? And then we bring the um, f over m. Oh, it's already positive, right? It's, it's over here. So f naught over m cosine omega t. So this is the driven equation of motion. It looks a lot like the damped equation of motion. It's just instead of equaling 0, it's equal to some drive frequency. And now we just have or some driving force. And now we just have to figure out how are we going to guess and solve that.